Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the gathering system in Black Desert. More specifically, if you're a completely new player, has no idea what gathering is, but want to get into gathering and start making money from gathering, this guide is exactly what you're going to need. I'm going to go step by step by step through everything to make it as simple as possible for a new player, because I know a lot of guys out there don't make it accessible. Anyway, real quick before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing, it would mean a lot to me, and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it, and let's talk about the basic concept of gathering, and how it makes money, and why it's such a great money maker. Basically, what you're doing as a gatherer is you're gathering resources that a player wants for either alchemy, cooking, or processing. Those are the three major skills that people do that require gathering. So for example, if you're doing alchemy, since I just put together an alchemy video, you know that you need a ton of bloods and saps in order to do alchemy. But bloods and saps are a pain in the butt to go and gather because you gotta go around from tree to tree or go hunt down monsters. You're basically performing a service for someone else so that they don't have to do it. That being said, the prices of the different things that you can gather are dictated based on the essential price of the imperial crafting box for whatever that item goes into. Pretty straightforward system with some caveats and differences, but for the most part, that's how it works. Just to give you an example of the system, if we type in wolf meat, you can see that wolf meat goes for a solid amount of money. Even though there's a lot in stock, there are a ton of pre-orders because wolf meat is used in a ton of cooking recipes. But if you go to wolf blood, wolf blood is dirt cheap and there's nothing in stock because nobody harvests this because the alchemy recipes that it's used in are not very profitable. So when you're looking for things to gather, you need to keep an eye out for this and look for different things that are in high demand because they're in very important recipes for imperial crafting or alchemy or just straight up processing. So with that backstory of gathering and how it makes money and all that out of the way, let's take a look at the two schools of thought for leveling up your gathering skill. The first one are the min-maxers that say you should level up your gathering skill up to the master plus tier. Leveling it up to the master plus tier gives you the maximum bonus effects from it. And in order to level up to the master tier, you're going to gather herbs located anywhere around the world or other different trash items that give you a lot of experience as you gather it up. You're not going to make any money in this, and in fact it's a huge money loss, but ultimately you will make more money in the long run since you'll be a higher level gathering skill as you progress. The second school of thought is people like me that think, hey, I just want to make money. I don't really care. So I'm going to gather stuff that's worth money and make money. And eventually I'll hit the master tier and be able to make more profit. In the long term, it probably makes less money, but you get to see your progression as you go along. At any rate, whichever way you want to go, I'm going to show you both methods in this video. So the gathering skill has a bunch of different gathering items from clothing to tools to accessories. There's a lot to cover and I'm going to break it down into different parts to try and make it easy to understand. At any rate, every single item that you gather requires a different gathering tool. If you press the P key on the keyboard and navigate to the life skill tab on your menu, you will see the gathering items that you have. So we can cut down trees with axes, fluid collectors with fluid collectors, hose to gather herbs and other things, butchering for meats, tanning knife for tanning hides, mining uses pickaxes, and then water scooping is in order to gather water from rivers or lakes. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of different tools that you need for gathering. Whichever one you're going to end up specializing in is what you're going to want to buy the best tools for. So for example, I do alchemy, so I have a fluid collector. At any rate, in order to gather, you also need energy. So the more energy you have, the more that you'll be able to gather and the more money you'll be able to make. If you want to get more energy, I have a guide on the channel about getting energy. Link is in the description below. Now, I did just briefly mention gatherer's clothes. There are two types of gatherer's clothes. There's the silver embroidered, which give you EXP. These are the clothes you're going to use if you want to power level your gathering skill by gathering herbs or other trash items. Because they give you increased EXP, you'll level up faster and hit that master rank faster. The other option are the Logia, Karta, or Manos gathering clothes. These give you life skill mastery, or gathering mastery, which we'll touch on in a second so that it makes a lot more sense. Just let me get through all the different items. The final thing that you can use for gathering to boost your life skill mastery are going to be accessories. So there are rings, earrings, belts, and necklaces that all give you life skill mastery. The nice thing about these accessories is that they apply to all life skills. So even if you do something besides gathering, like say you gather everything and then do alchemy, these same accessories can be used for alchemy. They're shared, which is pretty cool. So you've heard me mention gathering mastery a few times. Let's take a look at that now. If you press the P key on the keyboard, navigate to the life skill tab, under the gathering tab, you will see a mastery here, which coincides with your current level of gathering. Then from there, you will see all the different types of things you can gather with another gathering mastery that's based on your gear that you have equipped. So for example, if I put on my fluid collector, it took my gathering mastery from 443 to 743 for fluid collecting. But what is this gathering mastery number? 
You can hover over any one of your gathering masteries and see the percent increase to these different resources and whatnot. Kind of confusing, so we're going to use this table from Grumpy Green Cricket. This website has a ton of great Black Desert information, so if you're ever looking for anything, they're a great resource. At any rate, they have a tabulated version of all of the different percentages of increases that you get based on your mastery, and there's a few big breakpoints. The first one's at 750 because it gives you a 100% increase to your basic resources that you gather. So since 750 is the first breakpoint, and this is a beginner video, I am only going to cover the 750, but do note that there's other breakpoints that you can try and shoot for as you progress your gathering skill. Ones like 1100 that give you a 100% chance at these items, then at 1250 you get 200% increase to your basic items, as well as 100% chance at special items. So there's a few breakpoints throughout here. Basically take a look for round 100s, so like a 300% there, a 200% there, a 100% there. Look for those points, and those are going to be your bigger breakpoints when it comes to your gathering mastery. So what do you do before you hit that 750 threshold? Well, if you go to the central market and you type in magic fluid, since this one I know is in stock, you will see this magic fluid collector. So you need to be at least skilled five, and there's a bunch of different magic tools. So if you want to do butchering, there's magic butcher knives, all different magic tools for whatever skill you're trying to do, just using the magic fluid collector as an example. But anyway, these magic tools, in order to use them, you need to be skilled five for your gathering skill. You're going to need to level up gathering skill using basic tools before we get to this point. But the magic tools, the big selling point about them is that they set your mastery to 650. It's not going to show up anywhere in this mastery table. It'll still show whatever mastery your gear has. But note that it sets it at 650. So if you have 12 billion mastery, you're at 650. If you have 50 mastery, you're at 650. And no, it doesn't actually set it to 650, but the drop table is similar to the 600 to 650 range. That means rather than having to invest in all sorts of gathering gear, you can just buy a magic tool, a magic gathering tool, and be able to have the same mastery as if you were to spend roughly about a billion silver worth of stuff. So it's really great when you're first starting out to get into the gathering system and make some money. Before you hit skilled five, you're gonna to need to use basic tools. So basic tools can be bought from any material vendor. The one in Bear is located down here. If you go to her shop, you can see all the different gathering tools. If you're just starting out, I would recommend picking up these improved ones because even though they cost more money, they reduce gathering time by 10 seconds and it'll make your life so much easier. So use those tools up until skilled five and then after that, pick yourself up some magic tools for whatever you're trying to gather. All right, so now we're gonna look at other gathering gear in more detail. So there is a ton of different gear, as we already mentioned, there's clothes, accessories, all that great stuff, but this is basically all you need to know. There are silver embroidered gatherers clothes. If you go to the central market, you could literally just type it in silver embroidered gather and there they are so silver embroidered gatherers clothes are used when you are trying to power level your gathering skill because they provide increased gathering exp otherwise if you're trying to gather for profit you're going to want to either use logia gatherers clothes carta gatherers clothes or manos gathering clothes most people start with logia then they just deal with it and jump to manos they skip the whole carta thing in between but you could also use the carta gatherers clothes so looking at the Logia Gatherer's clothes, you can see that they have a ton of different ranks. Basically, every single rank that it moves up gives you increased mastery. So for example, a plus 10 clothes gives you gathering mastery plus 33 that you can see like right above my mouse. And if we get like try Logia Gatherer's clothes, it goes up to 130 mastery. So increasing the rank of them gives you increased mastery, increased mastery gives you increased drop rates, which then makes you make more money. So Basically, you want to buy better gear. The same thing applies to tools. So, for example, a butcher knife. We want Logia Butcher Knife. Take a look at that. If we were to buy a base one, it only gives you plus three mastery. But if we bought a tet one, it's plus 200 mastery. So the more money you spend, the more mastery you get, and the more money you make. Pretty basic concept. There's also accessories. So if we typed in Logia Earring, you can see same exact thing. There's different tiers of it. So a base one gives you plus four mastery. A tet one gives you plus 32 mastery. So the gains from accessories are not as strong to your gathering mastery. However, they do apply to all life skills, so they are universal, which is why they have an increased price when compared to the amount of mastery that you gain compared to the clothing or tools. But they're very well worth it if you plan to do a lot of life skilling on your characters. Another cool thing about the accessories is that they give you bonus life EXP, which will help you to power level if you're trying to power level. With all of that said, your first goal, as we've already said, should be hitting that breakpoint of 750. The easiest way to do that is going to be to get Logia Gatherer's Clothes. Logia's Gatherer's Clothes at the Tet rank for 407 million will give you plus 200. 
A Logia Gathering tool of your choice at the Tet range will also put you up another 200. So, for example, if we did the Butcher Knife to gather meat, we would get the additional plus 200 from that. The next thing you would need are going to be all Trilogia accessories for about 50 million a pop. So after all of that, you'd be sitting at 550, and you would need to hit Professional 10 or Artisan 1 Gathering in order to be pushed over the top to the 750 breakpoint. So every level you move up in the Gathering world gives you 5 base mastery. So you can see I'm Artisan 7, so I have 235 base mastery. So if you hit Professional 10, Artisan 1 Breakpoint, you'll be at an additional 200 mastery. So add that 200 mastery on top of all of the 550 that we get from all that gear, puts us to 750. All that is going to set you back 1.2 billion silver, which is an insane amount to invest. However, you will make that back between 15 and 20 gathering trips, depending on how lucky you are with your RNG at that gear rank. So it's incredibly well worth it, especially if you plan to do a lot of gathering. Now, as we already mentioned, instead of spending all of that money on the different things, you could just go buy like a magic fluid collector, which is always in stock because it's a byproduct of Imperial fishing for like 70,000 right now, get 250 gatherers out of it and be set at 650 mastery. So you're really not that far behind the 750 that you would get from spending 1.2 billion. So you don't have to put all of that money into gathering to get started. You can use these magic fluid collectors, gather bloods or saps, make a bunch of money, then buy your gear later. In fact, that is what I would recommend a new player to do. However, you do have the people that like to min-max and power level through it. So if you want to power level through it, you're going to want to use Magic Ho. So the Magic Ho will be used to gather the herbs located around the world. As you can see, there's not many in stock because they're in high demand because people are trying to power level their gathering. At any rate, you can see why there's a big difference in your thought process here, whether you want to try and make money with gathering as you progress, or if you just want to power level to get over with and then start building up from there. So the next thing we're going to talk about are going to be buffs for gathering. If you go to the central market, type in seafood cron meal, it will pop up as this item right here. Seafood cron meal increases your gathering skill by two, also increases your EXP gain by 10% and your life skill mastery by 25. So if you're 25 points short of a bracket, this will bump you over the top, which is amazing for gathering. Do note that there's also an event going on right now where you can buy seafood cron meals for one silver located at the stable keeper in most major cities. The vendor is the ellie oasis vendor so go ahead and talk to her next item up on the list is going to be the verdure draft i have no idea how to say that but it's v-e-r-d-u-r-e -E. the verdure draft increases your exp from gathering by 20 percent it also gives you gathering plus three so what is this gathering plus three plus two that i'm talking about you have a gathering stat on your character's profile if you click on this battle stats icon you will see gathering as you increase this it reduces the amount of time it takes you to gather which lets you make more money per amount of time you definitely want this maxed out, and if you're a member of a guild, guilds typically have plus three gathering as a base stat that they apply to all members. So you don't even need the Verdure Draft if you are in a guild, so find yourself a guild that has a gathering buff. At any rate, plus five gathering is the max, so once you hit plus five gathering, don't really worry too much about this. Now there are two other buffs that are nice to have while gathering. The very first one is the Blessing of Camisilvia, the Camisil's Blessing. This is a pearl shop item that's sometimes given away for free for login rewards. This one increases your energy recovery by two every three minutes, taking you to three energy per three minutes, which lets you gather for even longer, making more money. The next buff is going to be the Villa buff, which is obtained from the cash shop tent, because realistically it doesn't make sense to travel to the desert to get a Villa scroll, to then get the Villa buff, to then come back to wherever you're gathering. It just doesn't really make sense. So if you have a cash shop item, you can do it for an additional one energy recovery per three minutes, taking you to four energy per three minutes and letting you gather for even longer. But anyway, if you don't understand this whole villa buff scroll thing, whatnot, um, don't really worry too much about it. It's a cash shop item, and if you don't like spending money, it's not that big a deal. So this is just like a little convenience item that you can spend $40 for to give you a little bit extra. So 15 minutes of information overload is probably put your brain into a melting state. So let's just give you a quick recap so you know what to do here as a new player to get into this. To get started with gathering, go to a material vendor located throughout the world. Talk to them and purchase the improved tool for whatever you're trying to gather at the given time. The improved tool reduces the amount of time it takes you to gather, which will help you to level up a little bit faster. After you hit skilled five, go to the central marketplace and purchase a magic tool that corresponds to whatever you're trying to gather. So on the magic tool tab, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, just typing in magic, it will show magic tools. Magic tools set your mastery to like 650 ish. So it lets you make more money for less effort without having to spend a ton of money on gathering stuff. Use your magic tools to build up some money, and after you've built up money, start buying gathering gear that provides you with mastery bonus on your gathering skill to increase your overall gathering mastery until you hit the 750 breakpoint. 
at which point you can stop using the magic tools and move on to the dedicated gathering tools, slowly building up more and more mastery as you buy better and better gear and make more and more money. It's pretty straightforward when you think about it on that level, but as you can see, there's a lot more detail in all of it. And this hasn't even touched every single thing that's available to you in the gathering system. This just gives you the most important things that you're gonna use every single day. So with all of that said, we can finally start gathering and we are going to do our gathering at Bear. So Bear is located below Calpheon. There's Calpheon, here's Bear, here is Trent. So it's at this little intersection of them. And in Bear, we have two things that we can do. We can either power level our gathering by gathering the weeds over here in this rotation, or we can gather deer blood and meat over here, which also goes for a lot of money. So you're gonna need either a butcher knife, a hoe, or a fluid collector, depending on which one of these you wanna do. So the first one on the rotation is the weed rotation, which you can see there's already somebody here. There's actually two people here. But basically there are a bunch of plants that are weeds here, which is this plant right here. It looks like a fern. And if you go around in a loop, there are a bunch of ferns that you can collect here. There's ferns over here that you can collect. You can see somebody collecting over there right now. You can see all these wild herbs that pop up on the screen. I'm not gonna take the rotation because they're working and I'm a nice person, but basically you just move around to all these different ferns and they're wild herbs. And when you gather wild herbs, it gives you really solid EXP to power level your gathering. Once again, if you're trying to power level gathering, you wanna go ahead and use the silver embroiders gatherers clothes. The next items that we can gather if we're trying to make money are going to be deer meat and deer blood. So if you kill the elk that are located in this area, gather from them, you will get deer meat or deer blood according to whatever tool you use, either a fluid collector or a butcher knife. So there are three different rotations you can do in this area. You have like the deer that are farming down here. You have the deer that are grazing right here. You have the deer that are grazing up here. You have more deer that are grazing in this like road area. And then down here, you have a bunch of people who are also gathering as this is the main rotation down in this area. There's a ton of deer that spawn right here. That person has taken them all already. There's like three people here. Why is everybody here today? At any rate, those are your gathering locations. If these spots are taken where you can gather gear, you're gonna to wanna to swap servers. It's not worth it trying to compete with someone over these dare spawns as well as the herb spawns. Just keep swapping servers until you find a place where it's empty. But if you're trying to make money, the deer rotation does make solid money. If we go to the central market and we type in deer blood, you can see that it goes for like 9,000 silver a pop. And as you get more and more mastery, you'll be getting anywhere to like 12 to 16 of these as you build up more and more mastery. So every deer you kill will be worth like 150,000 silver. So a lot of money. Likewise, deer meat, if you're trying to go for that, also goes for a good amount because it's used in cooking recipes. So both of those are valuable. And the herb rotation, like we said, gives you tons of experience. So now there is one more pay to win element to all of this gathering, and that is going to be the hedgehog pet. So the hedgehog pet has the ability where it increases the amount of items that you gather by giving you a second gather at a random percentage. The hedgehog pet can be obtained from gifting someone the game in the world of black desert. So literally just sending it to a friend from the Amerigo starter pack, which is available on the Pearl shop. So if we go to the Pearl shop and we look at the black spirits pick, I believe it pops up right here. The Amerigo's welcome patch right here. So you have a hedgehog available in that. And also it comes up periodically in random sales. So you can purchase it from that as well. But yeah, it's really, really awesome for gathering. So if you want to spend money, would definitely recommend the Hedgehog Pet. If you were going to spend money on anything for gathering, that would be it. So I think that that's going to do it for this video. We've covered just about everything you could want to know. We've covered mastery system, gathering equipment, different things to pick up, all sorts of stuff. So I hope that this video answered a lot of your questions with gathering. If it didn't, let me know in the comment section below, and I will try to answer them. Also, I'm going to be going through and showing you different gathering rotations as we go forward throughout the week here of places that I like to gather. I've shown you the bear one. The bear one, as you know, after this video comes out, is going to become packed. So I'll try and put other ones out that you can go to to make some money while diluting the pack of people that go and farm at each area, if that sense makes sense. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you found it useful. If you did like it, make sure to leave a like, check out some of the other videos on the channel, and make sure you're subscribed so you stay updated when new content comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.